All right, good evening, everyone. We now have a new milestone with us, which is Colson, who is now in the game. How cool is that? Uh, everybody's been waiting for him. He is clearly a fan favorite right now, um, and his kit looks amazing for war defense with a shield slash fury team. Uh, there's a lot of combos that look really enticing for Alliance War defense, and he will be the uh, <laughs> the stalwart, the all-star MVP of Alliance War defense uh, probably in the next uh, month or so once everybody starts getting him. So uh, I wanted to break down those milestones. I wanted to look through them and kind of give you an overview of some of the work that I've done to uh, plot out the numbers and the milestones and what it takes to get each of them and try to find any efficiency among each of the milestones as to how much people need to contribute or in the individual ones how much you need to contribute whether it be cores energy uh, whatever it takes so let's get into it uh, the first component of it is of course daily gold spending and everybody's talking about this we've had a lot of chatting about this in our discord uh, it, it definitely is the most prominent one because it, it's totally up to you how you want to do it if you've been saving gold for the last few weeks then you probably got you know several million saved up and that's really good for hitting milestones every day consistently uh, or at least the ones you want to um, but i wanted to go through that a little bit and start talk by talking a little bit about our daily income source so first thing is is it's very difficult to calculate exactly what the daily gold income is for any player and the reason being is that there's just so many sources so when i opened up my calendar this morning this evening after i was doing all this stuff i realized oh hey here's a free hundred fifty thousand gold for no reason it's just a calendar thing <laughs> it's like ah well i guess that helps with the calculations whatever uh here's some gold orb stuff in the daily counter so you get like one gold orb per month from this and there's just so many little things that will provide you gold throughout your days. And I, it's just, it's very hard to keep track of, to be honest. Um, so what I've done is I've estimated it as best I could. Um, although I may be off and you're welcome to post in comments anything that you see wrong uh, or anything I might have overlooked. But I was trying to get it down and I felt like I got a pretty accurate number right around 700,000 a day. Um, so that's let's just, let's just look at these real quick and then we'll dig, dig into the numbers because I made a spreadsheet of course because who doesn't love spreadsheets <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll look at this. So uh, first things first is uh, high roller. Everybody knows this one. It's really easy. You spend gold, you get stuff. It's fairly simple. You have to spend gold in this game to get it anywhere. And of course, you build your characters that way. You level them up that way. Pretty much every game mode gives you gold of some sort, somehow, some way. Um, so there's a lot of different avenues to earn it. However, it never feels like enough. It's always the biggest grind in this game as far as trying to get it. So that's why this one is particularly important for the milestones. Is you don't want to go overboard spending two million plus a day trying to get Coulson uh, uh, shards and then run out very quickly. So I'm going to go over that in the spreadsheet and show kind of what the best number is per shard. Uh, or at least for value and efficiency purposes. And of course, those of you who are huge whales that can spend 2.8 million a day are more than welcome to. Uh, if you can afford to, then I guess why not? You'll get him a lot faster, if nothing else. So World Warrior is pretty simple. It's uh, a group of, <laughs> or your alliance, a group of uh, activities that give you certain amounts of points uh, unfortunately they reduced the blitz wins from 20 points to 10 points now so blitz is not quite as useful or important uh, for this milestone but it still is you know a good amount and you can do it pretty much unlimited you know every two hours and you know, everybody's got 100 plus characters so technically i mean if you drop down to a low enough tier you could win with your entire roster 20 times every two hours if you wanted to and get 200 points so um, we'll talk about this a little bit more detail later but i just want to show raids are now 30 points per energy used so that'd be 10 energy at a time hitting one node equals 30 points you don't have to win the fight you just have to do it uh in arena same thing but it's 85 points per uh, battle so you want to use your five charges a day for 85 points that's really important you don't have to win the battle though you just have to use them so if you get stuck in first place and you got four charges uh you know you might be missing out on a lot of points so better hope somebody will hit you and then alliance war battles are now uh worth points but only if you win the battle so this is uh i'll talk more about this when i get to that milestone on the spreadsheet but um 
this basically means that you're capped at 192, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, is it 192? I think it's eight, yeah, uh, 16 times 24. So 192 uh, per war, so times three, you can figure that out. And you get a lot of points for this, um, but this also encourages all alliances now to go on offense for war because the points are going to help with these milestones and these milestones are particularly good because you get a lot of catalysts you get a decent amount of colson shards they did take out the elite orb frags i noticed that they only have now the regular orange frags which is okay because you only got 500 elites before um, but they did take that out and they've uh, got 20 now tier 4 ability um, enhancements that you can get from these milestones instead of uh, I think it was 15 before and then of course a whole bunch of Colson's last one uh, save the world is pretty fairly uh, straightforward it's just spend campaign energy um, and I'll go over this in more detail but I broke it down by the amount that you get free and then showing inter incremental uh, numbers uh, per extra milestone that you'd like to achieve each day uh, each uh, two days so uh, without further ado let's get into it let's get into the spreadsheet and let's walk through some of this um, so getting into Chrome here I have uh, my Google Doc. This is my roster spreadsheet. So if you go to the link in the bottom of the video, you can get to my sp roster spreadsheet and find this Colson calculator. Um, so I'm going to put a cool blue color on this one for Colson <laughs> at the bottom here. And let's see. Uh, let me make that there. And okay. So if you look up here at the top on the left, I've got all the milestones listed. There are actually 19 milestones for World Warrior. However, there are only 16 for High Roller and Save the World. So um, for the individual milestones, there's 16. For the uh, Alliance one that runs a whole week, it is 19. You have Daily High Roller, and then I believe Save the World is every two or three three days i thought it was two days i'm pretty certain about that <laughs> i've got to check once it turns over again but i'm fairly sure it's two days um so i'll double check that later so uh let's start with the high roller one and just breaking this down so gold requirement this is per milestone and uh what that's saying is you need uh say 125,000 gold to meet the first milestone then you need 150,000 gold to meet milestone two then you need to spend another 50,000 to get to 200,000 cumulative spent for the day to reach this milestone uh, over here in this column i'm showing the incremental change between each milestone and you can see here you now the first one is 125k that's the starting cost right and then 25k 50 50 75 and you can see the progression here it actually continues to go up uh just by about 50 75k per uh, couple of milestones and uh, at the very end here you can see it's 325k between milestones and then 350 at the very end so these last couple are very costly however you can see here the colson shark or Colson's as I'm calling them here <laughs> just to save a little space on the header rows um, you can get one more shard for every single milestone beyond nine so that makes these more uh, beneficial if you're going for Colson shards however they are technically more expensive on a per shard basis um, you get some orb frags for milestone orbs you get some cores those are incidental I wouldn't worry about those as completely just bonus items that you know I wouldn't worry about uh, but the gold per shard I think this is what really kind of shines through so what I'm doing here is I'm saying uh, the gold required for this milestone divided by the number of shards you get cumulative cumulatively ugh, <laughs> up to this point is X right so in this case for milestone 5 when you get two Colson shards uh, total right it's cost you 325,000 gold so let's saying it's 162,500 gold per shard on average so uh, as we move down here you can see there's actually a slight drop uh, down to 200k at milestone 10 so for a million gold you are getting five colson shards right so that's 200k a piece and then it starts to go back up so it goes to 208k at a milestone 11 and then it gets a little bit more pricey after that and you can see it continually drop uh, keeps going up and uh but this is the average right so this kind of gives us a nice little distribution of how the curve is on the cost per shard however you can see here over in the incremental the raw numbers are significant right so going from milestone 11 where we kind of have a happy medium of cost per day uh over the amount of shards you get um that's pretty good at but it's you know 275k to get the next shard and then it's 300k to get the next shard and then 325k to get the next shard so 
you know, for these last couple of shards here, you're spending, you know, what, two or, well, going from milestone 11 to milestone 16. So to get an extra five shards, you're spending 1.6 million, whereas you only had to spend 1.25 million to get, say, to milestone 11 and get, uh, what is it, six shards, correct? Yeah, six shards for uh, milestone 11. So that's something to consider, right? You know, it's technically more efficient to get to milestone 11, but if you have the gold to continue spending it, well, you know, there aren't any other ways to get golds and shards very easily. So if you got, you know, 20 million gold in your pocket, you might as well spend, you know, maybe up to this 13 or 14 milestone. Uh, it does get incrementally worse, of course, but if you got the gold, it's, you know, he's he's an awesome character. His kit looks amazing. He, he looks really cool. I mean, granted, he has tech gear, so it's going to be a while until I have enough to gear him. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. So a couple other things I just want to point out down here at the bottom. Um, so just scrolling down. So I was keeping the, my notes and kind of the like shorthand math on each one of these items uh, under their columns. So you can see down here, this is my, my work, showing my work for daily gold income. Uh, I'd say you get about one gold orb per day uh, just from the events and stuff uh, and challenges and everything all combined. Maybe it's a little bit more like 1.25 orbs per day, but on average, your gold orbs are going to give you about 150K a piece. So if you get that per day... Uh, um, you know, that's a good amount of money, right? Uh, challenges per day. So that's the 72,000. You get three times uh, a week and uh, you get it three times. So that would be technically nine times seven or 72,000 gold for the tier um nine is it i think of the highest level of the challenge and then you have to think about dividing that by seven because really you get it three times throughout the week uh, but as far as the daily income goes we're trying to average this so that would come out to about ninety-two thousand gold per day on average right just from the challenge gold not the gold orb uh then we think about daily gold orb for uh, per energy um so you get about a thousand energy a day free if you hit all your uh, 80s, your free 50 refreshes, and uh, never cap out on energy and always use it. So that's, uh, to me, you get about 200 gold on average uh, per single energy. So that counts, it comes out to about 200k in gold. But this is an estimate. This is a very, I, I would say, loose estimate. Uh, it varies based on the nodes you can hit. You can pick nodes particular to farm that have more gold than others that yield have higher yields. Uh, it just it it really comes down to the player and what you're farming. Uh, a lot of us, of course, are farming specific shards that we want, so we're kind of limited to you know, hey, we gotta get these these done every day, and this eats up you know thousand of or this eats up almost a thousand energy a day alone, uh, just hitting the shard nodes, and it just depends on what they happen to be given. Um, so then event energy, I was figuring, um, you know, I do my 50 core refreshes a day on Grav's event. And so that's giving me an extra, um, you know, 400 energy in his campaign a day. But you get 720 gold per uh, energy spent. But I'm spending about uh, 1,000 energy a day on his events and so that comes out to about seventy-two thousand gold a day uh it just kind of depends um actually i guess i'm doing more like 140 uh pulls a day but either way you're still spending at least the, about the same amount of energy as you would in the main campaign it just depends on how much you let that one cap out because i know i'm really bad about that because i keep forgetting to use that energy sometimes Daily missions give you about 50,000 gold. I honestly didn't go and add this up. I know you get 25k from the arena one. I know you get some gold here and there. Uh, this is just an estimate. Uh, and again, raid nodes, it depends on how active you are. If you're knocking out 10 to 12 nodes a day and use six, then yeah, you're going to get more money. Uh, my alliance is almost done with U6 in less than like eight hours or 10 hours. So I usually only get to hit like eight nodes or so. So by average is 36 grand uh and then event raids of course same kind of thing i'm usually hitting about 10 to 12 nodes a day in there and then uh war gold income um so i was averaging this based on gold tier so it's probably lower for if you're in silver or bronze but a little bit uh but we win about two out of three fights a week i would say so to me average probably 350k uh per week in gold from war and then divide that by seven, you get about 50,000 a day on average from war gains. So that comes out to right around 700K a day. 
But if we go back up here, 700K only gets us to milestone eight, which is not very good, right? We want to do better than that. Um, obviously, there's lots of incidental stuff. There's calendar rewards. There's events. Uh, every time they have a Merc, um, you know, event or whatever, you get one. I get 1.8 million gold every time they have that. That's huge. Like that's that's a real nice jolt of uh, of gold into my account so I can do some stuff. Uh, but this is all so varied. Anyways. Um, I just wanted to show this. I really think milestone 10 or 11 is really the most efficient way to go for these. Um, that will yield the most shards per buck, basically, uh, without having you uh, run too much into the red compared to your daily gold. So down here, this is to totally, like I said, this is totally subjective depending on how you play, what you do, how many offers you buy, shit like that all feeds into this. And you got to think about how much you're spending a day versus how much you're bringing in and if there's any other ways that you can increase that if you're going through fear of the darkness for the first time well then congratulations you got a million gold orbs coming your way and you're going to be set <laughs> once you start making some progress it will pay out well so um yeah milestone 10 or 11 is great for them and coincidentally um the save the world energy challenge uh also comes out to right around milestone 11 or 12 per day uh which is with your free core or free refreshes of you know 80 energy per day that you claim you do core refreshes of uh, 50 cores each for 120 energy that gives you 480 per day uh general energy regeneration through the day is you know 24 hours a day uh you get um, you know, every five minutes you get an energy, so you get 288 energy per day, and then uh, that gives you a total energy of 1,008. Uh, since this is a two day challenge, that would be 2,016 total energy that you would use over the two day span, and that's all your free energy. Uh, free energy and 50 core refreshes, which I think everybody does at this point, even if you've got all your character shards maxed, it's still great for gear and gold um at least for the uh, price so that gets you right at the cusp of milestone 12 which is uh three shard or you'd have two shards of colson if you did this right and then you're right on the cusp of getting one more and this is where it gets tricky because you gotta think like if you're adding in another 120 energy to match the milestone 12 number uh that costs you 100 cores but 100 cores for one colson shard that's not so bad but this incremental difference you can see here this is where this uh, this gets important or this gets really important because hitting that milestone 13 costs 350 more energy because you're going from 2100 to 2450 now that is a lot of energy so if you're doing your 100 core refreshes for energy each day maybe like two of them that would be enough to bounce you up to this milestone 13 but then you need another 300 energy to hit the next one and then you need 200 hit the one after that and then you need 250 to hit the final one and so getting these last couple shards is very expensive it's going to cost you a lot of cores if you've got thousands of cores laying around and you love colson and you really really want them this isn't a terrible investment it's just it's it's just expensive right it's definitely a lot cheaper to be buying some energy here and there to get you up like one or two milestones than it is to buy a gold orb for 450 cores to try to help out with the gold milestone certainly that's not the best way to go but this is what i wanted to show is you can see the distributions here and yeah that 2100 mark is right about where most people are going to hit which is milestone 12 and it'll net you three colson shards per two days so uh that's not terrible but it's not great <laughs> Um, but that is about how it works and it's really up to you whether or not you want to push through and hit these other ones um, certainly if there's any other benefits like other sorts of milestones that compound on top of this uh, for using energy maybe it's more worth it then uh, but for some extra orb frags and a, a measly amount of cores like the cores don't really offset an extra 25 cores at milestone 15 that does not offset spending hundreds of cores to get there uh, nor does the 15 that you get from milestone 12 but hey you know every little bit helps uh last one here weekly or weekly points for world warrior uh milestone you can see here um they've increased the numbers it used to be 160,000 at the cap uh but now it's 205,000 
However, they did add war battles as an option to get some points, uh, which is really important. Um, so you want to win a lot of war battles. You want to clear the carrier, even if you're not going to win, uh, just to get those extra points to help out because 85 points a piece is worth a lot. And you got to think in order to make up for those points, you'd have to use arena fights or something. Uh, and that would cost you 25 cores per arena fight. So that's pretty significant when you think about that. Um, the last couple things is uh, blitz wins. Let's say people do, you have to do two a day for the the mission or whatever right so i mean doing three more not a big deal that gets you 50 points so five total blitz wins a day on average i mean that's 35 a week you're probably doing a lot of that already just doing milestones anyway that's not so bad if you wanted to bump this up to like seven or ten or if you're like a real blitz guy you got this at like you know 30 40 a day go for it and you know you can grab this cheat you know out of my thing copy it to yours and you know put your numbers in there and see how you do and think about how you want your alliance to plan for this because that's why i built this you know it's just it's for reference it's for everybody to use um just for fun uh to see how we're doing but basically when we come down to it 205,000 points divided by 24 people divided by seven days equals 1220 points per person per day that's what it is so over the course of uh, seven days, you're going to need around 8,000 points per person, uh, which is quite a lot. Um, but the rewards are worth it. I mean, we're looking here. This is 10 Colson shards uh, if you can get to milestone 19. Even if you can only get to 17, I mean, that's still eight. That's a lot compared to these other ones over here. Like we were just looking at the energy one. You get three shards if you just do the free energy and one 100 core uh, refresh on top of your 50s. Um, so getting eight from this would be pretty significant. If you can push and get that ninth and 10th one, I mean, go for it, you know, get you guys using their five arena fights a day. That should be standard. A sixth one would be awesome if people could do it because for 25 cores, if that gets you an extra, you know, Colson shard, 25 cores a day for another Colson shard or two, I would pay that. If the other 23 guys are willing to, I don't think that's such a big deal. And then if you do hit this 205k thing, like during the day of the last day of World Warrior, then you just tell everybody, hold off, you know, use your arenas if you have to, to do your payout. But otherwise, hold off until the thing turns over and then let's let it roll and uh, spend some more that night so we don't have to waste cores later. I think that's a great way of doing it. And uh, the war win battle thing, um, don't get hung up on this. You don't have to win the battle yourself necessarily to get the points. Remember, it is alliance based. So if you're doing cleanup, you're still getting the 85 points for the alliance, right? If somebody goes in and kills one guy and you got to go kill the other four, well, you know, it doesn't matter who gets the final kill. You still get the 85 points. So it's not a big deal. You know, you just want the team to clear. That's really what it is. It's about the alliance progress. That's that's really the thing here. Um, so, you know, the war wins, uh, I kind of explained down here what I was doing, but you're basically getting, you know, three, three wars a week, you get, you know, uh, something like what I was putting in here as I was saying, um, you know, if you win eight wars, uh, a war, or I'm sorry, if you win eight fights per war, three times a week, that's 24, right? So divide that by seven, you're getting about 3.4 wins per day on average, Per person so to me that's you know times 85 that gives you 291 points here and this is probably the not the best formatting i should change that to uh this sort of format <laughs> and uh we'll move this one's down to uh a little bit lower so it's 3.43 that looks a lot better let's let's change this one too while i'm thinking of it i just noticed that sorry but uh yeah so you're needing about 1200 and 16 points a day uh, are you getting 1216 points a day from this and this is bare minimum basically if you want to hit that final milestone so all 24 people have to be doing right about this much every day and full clearing carriers three times a week that's a tall order <laughs> so that's what i'm saying uh bringing attention to this People need to spend 25 cores a day and get one extra arena fight in. The Blitz stuff will work itself out. Everybody's got, you know, crazy Blitz champion people who are going to do like, you know, 10, 20 wins a day and probably cover up for a little bit of this. But the arena fights, 85 points a day, and there's lots of people who aren't, you know, stuck in their top 10 of the shard. Uh, so using an extra 25 cores a day will probably net them another level anyway in rewards, and they'll get 50 back uh, for moving up a tier in arena at payout. So 
totally worth it. And if you guys need help with Arena, let me know. That's what I do. I love Arena. Uh, it's probably the my favorite mode in the game, although Alliance War is cl quickly catching up now that it's uh, gotten so much more offensive based and I, I love the matchups. So there's a lot of fun stuff to try and do. Um, but yeah, this is, this is basically the World Warrior breakdown. Um, you got to really get on people. Um, if you really want to get into it, you can start tracking uh, blitz wins in um, your alliance tracker. Go to members and look for blitz wins. You can do that and see over time, but you got to track it in a spreadsheet. You got to track it by person and just make sure that they're doing, you know, whatever it is, 10 a day. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you set it to in your alliance, that's, that's the main thing. But it's a significant undertaking to think about. So uh, think about that. Think about how this works. If you guys are interested, you're welcome to copy this sheet out and use it for your own t uh, you know, purposes and planning. Um, I'm just playing around with this, trying to figure it out. But to me, you know, like I said, just to recap here, uh, I'm going to hit about milestone 11 or 12 in the gold every day. Uh, I'm going to hit milestone 12 in energy every two days. And then our alliance is definitely going to hit at least milestone 17. I mean, we were we were always really close or just barely made it to get the final milestone previously. So I think we're still going to be kind of in the same range. So we should be right around 17 or 18. But we're going to try to push for 19, I think. Everybody really wants Colson. So I think that's a good incentive to get the alliance moving, get everybody going the same direction, and uh, look at all these things. Things, uh, that we can do to get points and try to work as a team to, um, you know, get everybody as many Colson shards as we can. But that's it. If you got questions or comments or corrections, uh, let me know. This is uh, still, I just built this tonight. <laughs> I just got done doing this before I uh, hit record. So it's, uh, it's still kind of a work in progress, but I think I got the most of the important information out there. I was just trying to show incremental changes show where the best efficiencies are, and then show what's needed for World Warrior. So let me know if you got questions. If not, uh, enjoy yourselves, and good luck getting Coulson. Uh, I certainly hope I do. Um, I think he's going to be pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, actually, now I'm thinking about it, I need to go pull those Red Star Orbs and see if I get them. Let's see if I can get lucky on, stream, or on, on record for once. Here's a blue. Pa. Need me some Colsons. I have him four stars. I need a Colson. Man, all these threes. Three, 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 three. Oh, hey, that's an improvement. That's nice. My F4 team is going to be badass. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Well, that was all right. Goes for five star or five guys. That's not so bad. Um, let's pull this four. You know what? Screw it. Let's see if we can get Colson. I would love to get him four or five higher. That would be amazing. Let's do it. Oh, that's a dupe. Oh, foiled again by a Wolverine pool. That's gotta be the least satisfying thing you can possibly get in this game is Wolverine shards and pools or really anything wolverine based it's pretty sad <laughs> all right well i was hoping to top that off with an awesome colson pool but uh it was not in the cards unfortunately so i'll probably have to buy his shards from the store just like everybody else <laughs> well most everyone else but anyway y'all have a good night take care i'll see you later